Cleanup is in full swing tonight after one of the biggest tornado outbreaks to ever hit New Jersey. At least four tornadoes touched down on Saturday, and the National Weather Service is investigating up to three more. Video shows the trail of destruction left behind. Several schools had to close today. New Jersey reporter Anthony Johnson has been surveying the aftermath. He's live in Jackson, one of the hardest hit areas. Anthony? Shade, the mayor of Jackson was telling me a little bit earlier today that he believes the tornado that ripped through this area touched down several times. This is one of the areas right here on West Commodore Boulevard where it touched down. A lot of homes around this area were damaged by trees that were falling. You can see the crew, they're right behind me. They're working on this utility pole. They've closed off this section while these folks get out here and try to get everything back in order. They're trying to restore power. Some 855 customers. Customers here in Ocean County are still without power, but they're hoping to have everything restored tonight by 11 o'clock. Everyone is pitching in to pick up mountains of big branches and tree limbs ripped down by this devastating storm. The trees tumbled like bowling pins after the strike from the EF2 tornado. Dave says he drove through the teeth of the storm. Literally trees were flying over the car. Like I see pieces of trees and debris just flying over the car and stuff hitting me. This huge warehouse on West Commodore Boulevard was pulverized by the high winds. It was set to open but may have to be torn down due to excessive damage. What you're looking at is probably the worst that we've seen in the entire area. This warehouse just took a beating. I think it took the brunt of the whole storm. JCPNL crews have been working around the clock to restore power. They're getting help from other utilities. Meanwhile, homeowners are thankful no one was hurt. I've never seen it like this here before, no. But you know what? I hate to say it could have been a lot worse, but it could have been a lot worse. The storm barreled through Jackson on Saturday evening, leaving a path of destruction an estimated 16 miles long. So many trees uprooted, toppled, or snapped. Yards are now full of timber. Tree crews are working overtime. Taking trees off of houses, down trees that's just in yards. Uh, just doing a lot of work, sun up to sun down. Some families suffered significant damage to their homes, and the Red Cross has been able to provide them with essential items as the path to recovery begins. We're out in all the communities uh, Sunday and today, providing meals, water, cleanup kits for those that need it. And the Red Cross says if anybody needs help, just give them a call, 1-800-RED-CROSS. Once again, you can see the cleanup crew right behind me, their electrical crew. They're trying to restore power to some of the homes here in this area. The mayor also tells me schools were closed today. They will reopen tomorrow, and they do expect that Six Flags, not far from this location, will be opening on Wednesday. That is the latest live from Jackson, New Jersey. Anthony Johnson, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. What a